Hello, YouTube. This is Alexander again. And today, like uh, usual, uh, this is an absolutely unprepared video. I, I want to talk here about uh, this little device, which I think is absolutely underrated on the internet. So I purchased it uh, one week ago and I received it today. So I tried it and I found uh, this device ab absolutely amazing for the price and because it's a uh, two in one. So with this kind of device, you can absolutely uh, measure your USR on your cap dead or good capacitors. And also you can have a second value, which is the uh, capacitor display in microfarad. And uh, I think uh, sometimes uh, people ask on the comments if this device is able to check component on circuit and this is what we are going to do uh, at the end of the video and see on certain uh, certain capacitors if it's able to read and what value can be changed uh, when it's connected or not and i think uh, after a um, few minutes of use uh, of this device i just regret regret to not purchase it uh, some uh, months ago and uh, if you are um, a needer of this kind of device i think you absolutely uh, don't have to hesitate and this is an absolutely good device for the price so i have here uh, in front some capacitors and uh, some of them are good and some of them are bad and also i have here some capacitors uh, which i don't absolutely know the value uh, in a row because um, i didn't choose them i had absolutely no time for it so uh, first i want to show you how this device reacts so you have a, a crystal display here uh, back uh, lighted and the uh, first time, the first thing you can do, you have those absolutely nice little cute uh, Kelvin clip. And look, look at the testing. Oh, sorry. Okay, L look how, fat, how fast it is. You have 40 milliamps and 3,000. 3, 200 microfarad so you can see that this little capacitor is absolutely good and uh, like said the ESR the, this uh, ESR is absolutely nice so if I use a regular ESR meter like this one which use um, currently a very low uh, testing voltage on those capacitor you can see that the the value is, I don't trim the zero, sorry. Okay, but I think this value is too low. For, okay, 20 million, okay. Not so far, but uh, this one is not also accurate, so, so much accurate like this one. So uh, now I have uh, this kind of little uh, capacitors which comes from uh, this uh, this uh, card which finally returns to my desk and so we're going to see what is able to show this device and you can see 30 microfarad for 37 ohms and if you look very closely this is a hundred microfarad hundred and this is not the good value now because this little capacitor is dead so if i take another one this one is said for 100 microfarad and let's see how much see the device look the half of the value rated for this uh, capacitor and you can see the ESR very height about 20 um, which um, the, the good value about this kind of capacitor need to be something like 3, 4, 5 ohm maximum uh, 20 is too much and this is the third I lose one because I had 
four of them. This one is also 100, 100 microfarad. So let's see how much is displayed on the device. Sorry. Look, only 22, 20, only 20 microfarad and 50 ohm about the ESA. Okay, so uh, you can choose uh, uh, if you want only the capacitance or if you want you can choose only the ESA by selecting the mod range is this button. So I was very surprised uh, from this device because the reading, the display, the measurement are absolutely fine and quick. I was expected because they are, it's displayed some um, um, both measure I think I thought it, it, it was needed more time for it but so, but it absolutely not the case this device is absolutely quick so if I take here uh, some num value but uh, they are too late now I don't remember who is who look this ESA is able to read 150 ohms and this is what is this uh, resistor let's see another one but I'm not sure because oh automatic switch off okay I don't make uh, maybe I need to make a zero okay there is zero is still fine okay and see this resistor Okay, this this resistor is two heights. Hi. Okay, look at this one. It's about fifty ohms. Okay, and this is the good value of this resistor actually. If you look at this resistor with the multimeter, this is ab ab about fifty ohms. Okay. Let's see another one. Oh la la. What the hell? So, I don't know why it switched off so much. Okay. The value is about uh, 2 ohm. 2 ohm for this, uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, you need to make a more good contact on this probe, okay? This is the real problem actually. Now you can see 4.75 ohm for about this resistor, which is a, a, a actually the good value. Because I, I have already measured all those resistors, no? So let's try this one. Okay, 21, 21 ohm. So. Okay, and this one is too high for this. So um, the main question about this kind of measurement uh, is what about the level of voltage injected on this probe? So um, I, I, I already make the test so I can take my regular uh, multimeter and I want to show you because I use also my very quick multimeter here, but it's not um, it's not okay. If I prefer to use a very regular. Uh, it's not uh, it's not worth to use this big this big one, because okay, I prefer to use this one because uh, I don't have to hold the camera like this. Okay, I'm absolutely lazy. I need to admit it. So uh, okay. I just going to make some measurement. Uh, okay, it's about some millivolt here. So just make some connection here. Okay, and uh, look about. Uh, okay, sometimes you go, you can see the voltage uh, ripping to two hundred millivolt. And sometimes what you can say about those one 
uh, they are made for on circuit readings uh, and uh, they are uh, probing just just with uh, 100 millivolt for uh, many of them okay this one you can see here is probing with 200 millivolt maybe 200 is enough to not interfere with another uh, kind of component on the circuit and this is the reason why i'm going to make uh, a real test on this little board okay and we we are going to to look about the capacitance and the ESR and the thing you absolutely need to know is um, the capacitance can be changed because they are connected on the main circuit with another component for capacitance you cannot have a perfect value sometimes it can be a little bit higher or lower but on those kind of circuit if you need to check a re really a component you need to set the solder uh, um, a lead okay uh, from one side so here what we're going to, to do is to uh, try to to read the, the capacitance which is right in here and uh, try to read ESA in the same time and try to understand if there are uh, if this uh, voltage probe is interfered uh, with the, the component with the, another another component on it okay 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 look about the capacitance and the ESR ESR is very low for this kind of capacitance which is very nice and you can see uh, 150 Micro, microfarad which is absolutely the good reading on this uh, device okay now uh, let's try uh, this one mm, but this one is about 220 220 microfarad okay so let's see how much we can found with this device look this uh, value is a little bit higher because the the measurement with capacitance is able to interfere with another component on this PCB but for the ESR and this is actually what you are looking for this is the first value you need to check your capacitor if they are good or bad on the circuit so if you cannot trust 100% your capacitance value, in this case, you can trust your uh, ESR value. Okay, and now we are going to look another uh, capacitor. Well, uh, uh, they are here and look the capacitance and mainly the, the ESR on this one, on those ones not very easy with with the camera in front look about this one 3 microfarad and 160 ohm which uh, demonstrates that this capacitor is not healthy okay and if i look the other just beside okay no not okay little bit clumsy they are Kelvin clip okay okay this one is about four microfarad and uh, 15 ohms for ESR so what you can expect from this device this is absolutely beautiful device I, I think it will be mine uh, my uh, main um, component checker and uh, because uh, it's able to read uh, despite that the capacitance can be uh, can be uh, can be can be different because they are in circuit the ESR is still good so the question is does this device 
can can check the ESL on circuit, I I say yes. This device is able to check ESL. But but about capacitance, you can have a little different value. You can have a little uh, value off, uh, maybe uh, higher and lower. But uh, I think this is not. Uh, so this is not so much critical and you can check those kind of uh, uh, measurement with this kind of device which offers the price a uh, very nice price for a capacitance and ESA in the same time of course uh, I don't take time to talk about this uh, device more because I'm not interested by uh, technical surrounding but only uh, the features of this device um, you can see just the, those miniature Kelvin clip, which is are made which so much with kind of uh, audio connectors, which is funny but uh, very efficient. The, those Kelvin clip are very nice, very cute, at least. So, what I have to do is uh, so if I have an advice for you uh, to check your capacitors. Okay, don't hesitate. Go for this one. Not very, not so much expensive, and you will be very happy to have it. Again, a little check before to end this video. This one is about three thousand three hundred, and look the ESR. Sorry, look the ESR, and look how how fast it is. Oh la la! Sorry, sorry, sorry. If I put my hand on like that, the focus is not good. So look how fast it is. Look, hopla. Okay, that's fast enough for me. It's a beautiful device. Okay, it was Alexander for this uh, absolutely unprepared video. I use my main tool to demonstrate that the, um, the voltage on the probe are not so much height and uh, the they, they are not interfering so much with another component on the PCB. It was Alexander again. I hope that you like this video. Until you see you soon.